All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. I believe so, and I enjoyed that one. I promised you, yes, that was a better piece by uh, Ming Jin. He's an artist and an artist, yes. He did draw and he did sing. So we decided to do that small interview with him to know how he They put both of them together and they're very, very exceptional and, you know, still standing very strong doing the things at the same time. Who talks, say, you know, fits Abi, two talents at the same time and excel at both of them, uh, you know, greatly. Well, now, so we take Bring Down for now to see and see how it is done. Say, I promised you a lot of conversations today on the show and uh, we're going to be talking to a lot of uh, some very interesting guests today on the show also. We're going to be speaking with uh, Olajide Phillips. He's an IT expert and we're going to be having conversations on how you can uh, provide solution with information technology because a lot of the, uh, the things, the operating system of the world has changed due to the coronavirus pandemic. A lot of things have gone Digital. So I'm going to be speaking to an IT expert to give us some tips and ideas on how we can, you know, move these things forward and make the best out of everything. Welcome, Olajide, to the show this morning. Thank you. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you, and you too? I'm good, I'm good. You know that uh, it's, a, well, it's a culture on the show to always ask our guests how they are doing honestly, because we know there's a pandemic, <laughs> a lot of things have changed, uh, the system, you know, the minds of people, expectations. So honestly, uh, how are you doing, honestly? I must tell you, I'm doing well, because um, hmm. you know, being at home has been great um, in part for me, you know, learning and learning and learning remotely, you know, They've been very impactful for me. Hmm. I like that. The good thing is that you like you 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 made emphasis on the word learning and learning and learning. Now, everybody <laughs> said this before or during the lockdown to every you hear people saying, make sure you learn a skill, make sure you learn a skill. Don't just sit down idle, learn a skill. But there are some people who were still like, come on. What skill can I learn? I'm just here. I'm just trying to live my life. You're telling me to learn a skill. Was it really... Uh, do you think everybody who was in this lockdown actually learned something? So learned something new? Because let's say, let's, let's start from there. I must tell you, um, I think um, for anyone that um, is not learning during this period, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't think there is no time or better time for such person to learn again. Okay. You know, the lockdown in March um, 18, I stopped going to office. I tell you, you know, it gave me a lot of time to gather enough knowledge. Mm. You know, unlike before, that I have to drive out in the morning and I come back late. But yeah. I had 24 hours to myself. And my smartphone was with me. You know, my laptop is with me. I have everything around me, my internet. So mm -hmm. if anyone is not learning this time that you are home, that nothing is distracting you, I don't think there is better time again to learn. I tell you, even if you are, even if you are given all the 24 or 48 hours, yeah. you will not learn. Now wow. that you have it at your disposal, you are not learning, you're not making use of the time. And that's what I've done in the last three months or four months. I've been learning, I must tell you, I've learned over 40 skills that I've learned remotely. I've not gone out to Over 40? So I tell you, that's it. Wow, over 40 skills remotely. Now, that is something of, of interest. <laughs> 40 skills remotely in the space of four months or three to four months thereabout, right? Yeah. Now, I would, I would also um, like to bring to another, conversa another uh, statement to this conversation that when people say learn, a lot of Nigerians or the young people out there would say, uh, the tools that I would use to learn are not usually easily accessible because you made mention of your mobile phone, your internet, your, uh, you know, you need all these things to be able to, you know, get this uh, learning material or these skills that you just said. And to a lot of That's Nigerians, right. they say this is not easy to come by, majorly the internet, yeah. seeing the fact that a lot of things are online. So for people like that, how would you say they can go about it? How can they walk their way around this kind of situation? Thank you for that question. You know, it's amazing. You know, I'm a young person and um, I've been, you know, working with young people for mm -hmm. quite some time. And I always tell them that the same data that you use in going on, on all the social platforms yeah. is the data that you can, be, can be converted to learning things. You know, nobody can give excuse that this is the reason or reasons why I am not learning. Okay. Everybody, every young person has a smartphone. And, um, there's this quote that um, dropped to my mind a few months ago that smartphone equals smart mind. Smartphone, smartphone equals smart mind. Okay. Smart mind. 
the reason why it was called smartphone is because the smartphone can do smart things. But many a times, people use mighty phones. I use the word mighty phone, mm -hmm. big phones. But they do little with those phones. Exactly. And they spend go more than 5,000 on data. I tell you, you have enough resources at your disposal to empower, to change everything about your life. Mm -hmm. People are learning great things during this pandemic, this lockdown. So no one can say that he doesn't have a, um, a resource or something that he or she can use. At least you have a smartphone. Mm -hmm. Every young person from age 13, 14, 15, they all have a smartphone. Compared to my those days when I was in school, I, yeah. I, I wasn't opportunity to have this kind of smartphone. Yeah. I was using 10 or there about those big phones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I get it. Days, I get it. Even my son that is just three years old, he has an iPad. And imagine. Wow. Imagine for that. So, <laughs> and you can't tell me that you, you, you don't have something. It's, I tell you, it's not possible. It's, as long as you have data to go on social platforms, yeah. you equally have data to learn Everything online. Now, the other conversation that uh, they yeah, usually the have as, as a concern that, uh, is concern. the fact that we are used to the traditional system of learning. The go mm. to a classroom, go to a conference center, go to a library. We are used to that. So learning mm. over the internet is somehow new to us. And we still don't see it as the proper uh, way of learning or like like you you said you learned over 40 new skills in you know in, in 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 this space of time you know you learned over That's 40 correct. new skills uh, are, are you there yeah i'm there okay yes you said you learned over 40 new skills in this period of time yeah and and you were able to like get a certificate in all these different skills right you get different kind of certificates now the current uh the the traditional system of education in nigeria is more of you go to a building or you 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 go to a library or you go to a a, a place of, uh, of of learning where you can actually you know get this information from as physical okay okay I, are you still with me oh i think Will i'm, you, I'm Okay, yeah. So, so usually people expect that, okay, I have to go to, people are used to going to these places to get certified. Now, doing this over the internet is still not our style. Would you say, uh, why would you say this can be happening? Because this is what we're used to. Would you blame us? Uh, well, whether we like it or not, this is the future. Hmm. This is the future. You know, I've been saying this for the past two or five years now that we are gradually moving to the future where everything will be done remotely. Okay. Schools remotely, government will be remotely, healthcare will be remotely, everything will be remotely. You know, the earlier we understand this, and that is my agitation, that is my concern for young people and our government, that there's high time for us to begin to understand that this is the future we've been clamoring for. You mm -hmm. know. It's always it's, it's my, my desire to see the dream that the Lagos is driving on as a mega city. You know, yeah. it's, it's, I, I'm a kind of person that reads and research. There's a town called Estonia in part of Europe, a small, con a small country. The country discovered that they have a small number of people and they, and they built what is called an online country where anybody can have access to it. E, they call them e-citizen. Okay. Amazing. So these are some of the things that we must understand that we are in the future. This is the future. The future is no more tomorrow. We are in the future. So the mm. earlier we understand that we need to begin to make use of the available digital platform we have, the better for us to quickly arrive at what we always desire to have. You know, I don't wait for anyone to do things for me. Mm. As long as I have what I have on the internet, I go there, I read what I need to read, take off the course I need to take, you know, take all the certificates I need to take because I know there is something coming. Yeah. And only those that are ready for it can actually take benefit, can enjoy. So I we like are in the future now. I we like are in that. the future. I like that. I like the fact that uh, you're making this clear and letting people understand that, like you said, we are in the future. The future is not tomorrow. This is the future. Now, speaking about uh, um, the Nigerian society, the reason why we're having this conversation is because um, a lot of times Nigerians still don't understand or still don't appreciate the power of, uh, of IT or you know, the, the IT space. 
seeing the fact that, like mm. you said, everything is going re remotely, uh, schooling, uh, um, governance, um, healthcare. Now, for schooling, that was the part I was talking about, the fact that, okay, we had a lockdown situation and students had mm. to learn from home. And because mm. of the background we're coming from, we still didn't see it as the proper learning process. Till today, people still see distant learning as uh, it just they it just they try they go school. He never too serious for school. Then why they do and from house. It's still looked at like that. If people still see you as go to the four walls of the university. You have to be inside the classroom. You have to learn from uh, you know directly from a teacher who is telling you what to do face to face before you can say yes. I went to a university. Now moving forward into this current situation we are in in the country. Of, uh, of things moving into the technology space, businesses moving into the technology space, we still don't trust the IT, uh, the, the technology space to give us that livelihood of being, you know, the, the proper or the real, or the complete Nigerian we should be. We still don't trust the IT space on that. So how do you think we can trust you think so? them? You think so? <laughs> Looking at the situations, people still don't trust it. We're still scared. Well. Ah, well, I, I think um, for anyone that is still in the place, probably still in the dark that um, um, not trusting the IT in Nigeria, I tell you, I think um, you need to begin to read certain things online. Okay. You need to, please begin to, on, on, begin to imagine amazing things young guys, developers, programmers are doing, building different apps mm -hmm. that are solving problems. You know, mm -hmm. if you go on FinTech space, go on different platforms, you see what Nigerian guys are doing with different mobile apps, solving problems. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I always, you know, I always say to people is that it's the better for us to begin to celebrate what we have now. Okay. We have those solutions. All we need to do is to embrace them and use them. Everything that we are using that comes from developed country, mm -hmm. someone encouraged them, and that is how it became so big for exactly. us to use. Exactly. So if we don't begin to understand, even if a, even if Wazobia is developing or develop and have, mm -hmm. we must celebrate it because it's our own thing. Mm -hmm. When all of us unanimously carry it, it becomes a global thing. True. But if we let me believe, if we believe that well, uh, we have not yet arrived. When will we arrive? It is until you try something, you won't know that thing can work. Mm -hmm. You won't know until you have to make an attempt and make it and use it. Then you wouldn't know. So for anyone that is still in the space doubting or probably, I would say that please you need to do some research. Young guys are doing amazing things in the tech world, in the tech space. All we just need is support system. I was going support to talk about the support could, now. Is support the, system from are you the getting, government? Are we getting from, enough support from the government or from the people? Where do you need this support from so that we can start from there? Then we know where we are lacking the, the support from. You see, there are two things there. Support system from the government is paramount. Okay. It's paramount. When, when government begins to see that young guys are bringing solutions out, what government should do is to give such solutions a lift. Hmm. A lift. Imagine if, um, if, if someone said he develops something and have that can solve a solution, probably a traffic problem in Lagos. Yeah. Or congestion in Lagos. Yeah. And that, and that app is better than it's working. All we just need from the government is for the governor to just declare and say, this app is doing so, so, so thing. It can help you to do A and B. Mm -hmm. I would like everyone of us to please begin to use this app. That is all we need. That app will fly mm -hmm. and will begin to solve the problem. Also, when it comes to individual people like companies, you know, different organizations, yeah. to give them all the moral support, lift them. Some of them need some lot of money to develop the app into different version, you know, do adverts and all that. Yeah. But when these guys don't get the support system, many of them don't have the money to, you know, to go and do sponsor hard and make the whole thing go gaga. Mm -hmm. But when we have this two support system from private organizations and government, I tell you, uh, Nigeria is going to go on a global scale. You know, let me tell you this. We are very talented in Nigeria. I always say it. I'm no one doubt. of those people. I'm no highly doubt. talented. I have no doubt. And I, I've never one day regretted that I am born in Nigeria. No. Hmm. The gift of God is inheriting me. 
And that gift is meant to shine from Nigeria to the face in the world. But we need the support system from our government and from private organizations. Hmm, interesting. Now, speaking about tech, you know, when, when, when the word tech comes about, uh, people look hmm. at it for the educated, the, um, the, the, the literate people, the people who know, uh, who are educated, who can handle these things. Now, uh, we know that uh, the population of the country, we have a lot of Nigerians who are not, uh, you know, school educated, like, you know, literally educated that way. And a lot of them don't even understand this tech world we're talking about, because a lot of them are still in the era of, eh, the one way I see, now I go do. Now, what I see, now I know. I'm not used to these numbers online, trying to connect to the internet. And we know there are a lot of people like that. In the rural areas, we have them. So how has this tech industry, um, what measures have they taken to be able to take tech to the rural areas, to also build uh, the, 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 the following from there? Because if we're looking at just the, 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 the literate class, to yeah, the illiterate yeah. class, it's really not uh, yeah. in par. What has the tech industry done to, to break into these rural areas? And, and that's what I said, that we need the support of government. You know, that's where we have the local government. You know, I'm sorry to say this, and I have to say, you know, sometimes, um, I think two years ago, I developed something, and I went to a part of Lagos, mm -hmm. don't mention the place, of the local government. And I dropped my proposal there that this is what I intend to do to empower young people in the rural area. Yeah. They collected my proposal. He said receipt. Two years down the line, they have not called me one. Two years. Okay. Yes. I don't have, I don't have the power. I don't have the money to go to rural area. The same thing happens to most tech guys. Hmm. They have the idea. They are, is, there, is there intellectual property? They've already developed the solution. Mm -hmm. They need support system that could help them take them to the rural area. Imagine, if me, I can only do 1,000 yeah. with the strength I have. But with the help of government, I can do 10,000, 100,000. I can reach out to the root, you know, deeper places that I can. Mm -hmm. But if we don't get the support from them, it will die. I will only do within the strength I have, within the resources I have, I have and I will leave it. Mm -hmm. So for tech to go to the rural places, we need private organizations, government to support young guys that are coming up in tech space. You know, give them lift, give them some, you know, soft things that could help them. You know, let me give you another instance. Like if there is a training going on in a local environment, yeah. government should support that. Imagine if a part of like, um, let's just mention some rural area, like maybe a Ekpe, mm -hmm. Ekpe in Lagos. Mm -hmm. That place now, there are part of those places that they have not even heard about tech. They don't even know what is they tech. They don't know what tech is about, yes. They just the user and they don't care, say anything. But mm -hmm. if there is a support system that could, you know, support that kind of developer or a trainer, you know, there's, there's a way they can train young people in that environment. It's just a matter of a few days. And they will begin to use that. And I tell you, after a, time, after a while, that they will begin to go from town to town, from village to village. See, these things, these things are not difficult. Mm. These mm. things are happening in developed countries. We also have villages and towns in developed countries. Exactly. How are they doing it? It's a simple way. It is not only in Nigeria that we have villages or towns that are not tech survey or no, but some people support them. It will shock you that in developed countries, in the villages and towns, that people know about Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. True. How did they get here? True. Because what there was a there's a support system yeah. you know, that takes that beyond beyond the space of urban city and all that. So that's the same thing we are we are asking. If there is a support system from our government and private organizations, I tell you, in a, in a matter of time, we we'll begin to hear Nigeria hmm. doing great things in the global space. We have this thing. There is no doubt about it. We have it. But all what right. we just need is support system.
All right. Uh, thank you very much, Olajide, for this uh, conversation. And it's good that we're talking about tech uh, today because uh, we found out that a lot of Nigerians still don't believe in technology and they're using that as uh, the springboard to the future of uh, the economy. But it's good that we're having this conversation and uh, we, uh, we're glad that you were able to share us some more light on the conversation as it's were. Well, thank you for your time and thank you for joining us on the Good thank Morning you. Niger Show this morning. Thank you. All right, we just spoke to Olajide Phillips, he's an IT expert, and we're talking about providing solutions with uh, IT, that's the information technology space. And uh, it's a good thing that we pointed out some very, very key situations going on, and how Nigeria needs to see technology as the next tool to move to the next level, because a lot of times we just shy away from it. We feel, eh, it's for the elite, it's not for all of us, we're the streets. Uh, but we want to make sure that everybody, we the rural areas, the villages, we need to use this as something as a springboard to the future. Like you said, the future is now. Future not be tomorrow. We are in the future, so we need to see things from this perspective.